I definitely like the flexible modeling in Creo Parametric, taking a lot of the concepts in um, CoCreate and moving them into the parametric application so you can move things anywhere you want. Um, I like some of the new capability for uh, creating uh, simplified reps on the fly when you're opening things up. You get a nice graphical user interface where you can pick the files that you want and the types of uh, reps that you want for each of those. Very, very nice. I'm definitely looking forward to the release. I think it'll be a, a good step in a, in a new direction. One thing that stands out above the rest is the flex modeling. Uh, the add-on application for flexible modeling. Uh, that's something that has never been done before. It's very powerful, it's still parametric, allows you to move move a group of features from one side of the model to the other without having to you know, change all the references. Uh, you know, really excited about that. And uh, the user interface looks nice. Uh, it's kind of refreshing in my opinion. Overall, I think it's just uh, things are done smarter. It's, that's my overall impression. A lot of things are just done smarter. There are some aspects, for instance, in the sketching ability and in the ability to control some geometries that are really awesome, like they call it here in the US. I really love that. Uh, so uh, I was certainly able to pick up on some functionalities that are a very nice surprise. When the designers are free to play with the geometry, they're very fast, and then fixing parameter and constraint is only done at a later stage. Well, there's two major highlights that I think that our customers are really going to see. And uh, the first one, of course, being direct modeling. Um, having worked in, in the industry for many years as well uh, in telecommunications, um, what I've seen a lot of is older models, um, vendor data, you know, there's the interoperability between various uh, applications that causes a problem, you know, almost on a daily, daily basis. And uh, direct modeling can really help with that in that uh, most of the time when you work with an older piece or a vendor piece, you really only need to make slight adjustments here or there. And it turns into a lot of wasted time restructuring, healing, you know, and, and completely remodeling a, a, a product or older product or current piece just to make minor modifications. And direct modeling can help with that greatly. And, uh, second, uh, I believe that the any app um, kind of methodology is huge. Splitting up the any apps into um, specific areas of interest or, or specialty is, is paramount to being able to take advantage of uh, people's special, specialized knowledge and being able to put the tools in their hands that allow them to do that. Uh, the flex modeling, uh, I appreciate a lot uh, the, the usage of the product view representation as a lightweight graphic uh, to uh, increase speed of big assemblies to be opened. Uh, these are the main points. Uh, sure, the new interface is uh, something a change. Uh, on the other hand, uh, that might be uh, an advantage in the future as well very much interested in the model-based definition area and this was my main testing focus and I was very pleased to see that a lot of things are implemented to get uh, this model-based definition idea running so combined states in the, the model are much easier to handle and there's a lot of things in, in this area that have in, has improved in this release. The first um, one I would say is uh, the flexible modeling extension that sits on the Parametric app. Because many of the customers that we go, we try to just go and show them Pro-E. There's always this interoperability thing. They have third-party CAD systems or their customers are sending them models that are dumb data, right? Mm -hmm. I could really see the flexible modeling being a huge point. In that way, I, I think that is my... I think that's the biggest advantage of moving to Creo 1.0. Mm -hmm. The next one being the, the free style, which is subdivisional modeling, that's the second one. And then the third one I would say is a consistent ribbon UI. It's nice to see the legacy menu manager gone and that would be a big way where it looks consistent throughout all the modes in all the apps right now.